Hi and welcome to Chicky Richard Cooking's Reuben Sandwich. We are going to be making this delicious classic American sandwich using rye bread and a sandwich press or a panini press. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. If you don't have a panini press, you can cook this in a cast iron pan on the stove, but you need to put a weight on it to keep it down. It's got a spicy sauce and we're going to show you how to make that. Traditionally served with a pickle, so let's get started. To a good quality mayonnaise, we are going to add some Worcestershire sauce, some tomato sauce, some Spanish onion or red onion, some pickle that has already been chopped up, just pickled gherkin there, some Dijon mustard, teaspoon of that, and some horseradish cream. If you've got fresh horseradish, by all means, great that, but this is great. And you can keep it in the fridge so you've always got it on hand. And that's going to be a really flavoursome sauce or dressing to go with our Reuben sandwich. So look at that. Not the best colour in the world, but it's really quite delicious. And there's lots of flavour there. Okay, just put that to one side while those flavours get together. You can put a bit of dill in that if you like. Perhaps some freshly cracked pepper. And the mayonnaise has already got salt in it, so we don't need that. And of course our corned beef has the salt in it as well. So just put that to one side. Now, we have our bread which is a rye bread and we're just going to butter that on both sides go right to the edges because you want the color to go right to the edges now I've just made some sauerkraut this morning so it's still quite hot if you've got sauerkraut that's just come out of the fridge you're going to want to heat that up first because you don't want it to make your sandwich all cold so we now have a piece of cheese there some of our corned beef don't be miserable with that we're putting on our sauerkraut now lots of that too spread that right out it's still quite hot you could use white cabbage if you like but i happen to think that this looks quite special then we're going to put our dressing on so that can go in amongst our sauerkraut and that'll stop it from oozing out because it'll actually go in amongst that next piece of cheese and we're going to slide that straight into our sandwich maker which has already been heating so just lift that lid and we're going to have to brace it so that it doesn't squash down too far pop that on there pretty hot and that cheese will melt and go all gooey and we're going to brace this so that it doesn't come right down on itself and just let it cook until that bread is nicely browned okay, after about five or so minutes this is so hot and bubbly the cheese is melted on ouch both sides sides <laughs> just put the next one in we're going to serve it oh that's so hot serve it with a little bit more of the dressing you can dip it if you want to it should be juicy enough you really shouldn't need to and we've got one of our little tomatoes out of our garden it's a gorgeous little fella this isn't traditional but it does taste gorgeous and we're just going to spear that and get our pickle spear that and we're going to pop it into our sandwich when we cut it into halves so it'll probably want to ooze out a little bit here and there you have it chicky richer cookings classic Reuben sandwich check that out oh ooey gooey and juicy what do you think not too shabby mm -hmm. thanks for watching okay let's have a little bite shall we <laughs> oh look at that yummy yum mm. Mm, that sauce is divine. Crunchy hot sauerkraut, moist salty beef, crispy rye bread. This is divine. I'm pretty sure this is what heaven tastes like. <laughs> Thanks for watching.